Hello everyone and welcome to this episode here on NRV Outdoors. Today we will be talking about one of my favorite techniques and that would be spoon fishing. Here I've got the Johnson Shutter Spoons. This is a three pack here, three different colors. And we will be fishing these today. I'll be kind of explaining how I like to fish these, especially in small, in small and shallow creeks. And we'll talk about how to catch trout on these and entice bites. So stay tuned, stick around, and let's have some fun. All I'm doing right here, guys, is just flipping it out there and giving it some pops back to me and getting that blade just to kind of flash as it travels along there. Oh, had one on right there. That was our first bite of the day. I don't think he's going to bite it again because we did get a hook in him. They are in there, guys. on first fish on the spoon we was just casting it out and hopping it back and this little girl right here just had to have it let's go ahead and swing her right on into the net just like so i'm gonna grab our hemostats out here because this is a treble hook and as you guys probably already know, treble hooks do not feel good when buried into your hand. So there's our first spoonfish of the day there. Just casting it out and popping it back. Let's let her go. There she goes. Heck yeah. Let's go on ahead and try for number two using that exact same technique. All right, guys, for our next technique, all you do is simply cast it out, let it get close to the bottom, and pop your rod tip straight up. It's called the flutter and drop technique. It's gonna flutter up and fall back down, creating a good bit of vibration on its flutter up and a lot of flash on its fall back down. Now, a lot of times, this is the technique that will get you the most bites, especially when fishing deep water, like ponds and lakes. pretty fish took the old spoon he took a spoon Johnson shutter spoon would you gentlemen like this fish to eat no nope. you want him you can have him gave that fish to a couple gentlemen back there 
it's best to give somebody a fish if you catch it where they're fishing it's just common decency or at least offer i walked up fished in their spot caught a fish offered it to them it's just a sportsman thing to do all right let's see if we can get him right here here he comes here he comes here, come. there he is Ooh, angry fish tell you what guys it's a beautiful day out here plenty of people out getting some fishing done We've got some kids on the creek it's just a great day to be out enjoying the spring weather heck yeah another little gorgeous fish on the shutter spoon let's let her go heck yeah guys Yeah, I catch a one or two every once in a while. Oh, yes, you can. Go ahead, really. Yeah, fight him. Yeah, fight him. Oh, that's a big one, ain't it? It's not as big as your big one. You can get him. You got this. All right, swing him over this way. Bring your rod tip over here towards me. Point your rod tip at me. Oh, perfect. You've done that a time or two, ain't you? long cast it's a slight popping retreat and this one here had to have it beautiful fish there all right guys if you enjoyed this quick little shutter spoon fishing video make sure you smash that like button leave me a comment down below and let me know what you've caught on these things in the past and uh get out if you can do a little bit of fishing heck maybe even throw yourself a spoon but most of all have some fun be safe and tight lines Got him on, big and no big and super shallow water. Flip that shutter spoon over there, and he absolutely had to have it. Mm. Big fish. Super long. Super long fish right here, guys. Wow, nice one. He freaking choked that shutter spoon too.